In today's video, we're making mosaic letter openers. These office essentials are a fun way to bring your personality into the business world. Use your school's favorite colors or find inspiration in your own decor. They're a perfect gift to whip up for the graduate, newlyweds, or yourself, because we all get mail. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects. All to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. I love taking a trip to the office supply store or the big box stores and going down the office supply aisle. But one thing that you aren't going to find at any of those locations is one of a kind office accessories that double as functional art. And in today's video, we're talking specifically about letter openers. I've made a few different styles of letter openers over the years. Some have a bezel, which I tiled inside, and some have no sides or border. So I tiled and grouted the letter openers as usual, and then covered them with an epoxy resin, which gave them a clear, smooth, permanent coating over the mosaic tile work. If you aren't familiar how to add resin to your mosaic work, I've done a video here on the channel all about how to use epoxy resin with your mosaic, and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. Despite the fact that snail mail has considerably slowed down overall, we all still get cards and envelopes in the mail or from friends and family in person, and so a letter opener is a pretty practical gift. And at the time that I'm recording this, there's a lot going on on the calendar. We are celebrating graduates, recently engaged, newlyweds, moms and dads, kids finishing up school. It seems like pretty much everybody right now is receiving some sort of card and they're going to need to open it. Many of you have asked for ideas on small mosaic gift items that you can make quickly. Well, these letter openers fall into that category. The tiling takes very little time, and you can decide whether you want to grout or not. I chose to grout, and we'll go over that process later in the video. But they're super quick and easy and a lot of fun to make. And because you're selecting the colors and the design, you can make them totally customizable. Let's say you could mosaic a letter opener in the recipient's school colors or include an engaged couple's wedding colors on their letter opener. So in today's video, I'll show you how I tile two letter openers using stained glass and vitreous glass. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Before we get started with the tiling fun, let's take a minute to discuss the substrates. I decided on using two different styles or sizes of substrates. And although both have a flat tiling area, one has a lot larger of a tiling area than the other. And I've included a list down below in the description of a lot of other letter opener substrate ideas, which include different shapes and metal colors. The two I'm working with today are both silver and made of metal. Metal is an acceptable substrate for use in mosaic. And just as I mentioned, there are lots of other color and shape options as well. I'm tiling both sides of the letter opener to make it feel more chunky or substantial in your hand when in use. The letter opener with the larger area for tiling measures nine inches long. The handle alone is longer than five inches. So it provides a nice space for tiling. It does feel more substantial in your hand and heavier than the other option, even before I started tiling it. It's just a really good quality letter opener, and there's no bending of it whatsoever. The letter opener with the smaller area for tiling came in a set of two, and they measure nine inches long as well. The handle where I'll be tiling is three inches long. It's also a good quality letter opener, 
but with a lot of effort, you might be able to bend it slightly. Still, it's a substantial substrate for this project. I like both of the letter openers very much, and I think that they offer a perfect area for mosaic tile work. And now that we've gone over the substrates, let's move on to the materials and adhesives. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the substrates, materials, tools, adhesive, and grout that I'm using in today's video in case you'd like to make some mosaic letter openers of your own. I'll quickly go over the materials and tiling for both of the letter openers, and I'll include any tips and tricks along the way that may help you with yours. For the materials, I chose stained glass in blue, green, and orange for the letter opener with the longer handle. For the letter opener with the shorter handle, I used various shades of pink vitreous glass in 3 quarter inch and 3 8 inch sizes. For the adhesive, I used Epoxy Sculpt exclusively for both of the letter openers. And I did this because one of the letter openers involved tesserae of different thicknesses. And when you're tiling something like a letter opener, you want to make sure your tesserae are all at the same tile level for comfort and ease of use. If you're not familiar how to use Epoxy Sculpt, I have done a video recently on the channel all about how to use Epoxy Sculpt in Mosaic, and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. Other acceptable adhesive options include Thin Set Mortar, which would also allow you to level out the tiling surface of your mosaic. It is cement based, so you'd wanna be careful not to scratch the blade end of your letter opener. Another adhesive option, especially if your tesserae are all the same thickness, would be using a PVA glue-like weld bond. It's a white glue that dries clear and has a really tight hold for a project like this. But I chose to use Epoxy Sculpt and it worked beautifully. It's a stiff adhesive and it adhered perfectly to the tesserae and substrate and dried rather quickly. Okay, that's it for the materials and adhesives. I think we're ready to start tiling. Okay, for the first letter opener, as I mentioned a little earlier, I used stained glass in blue, green, and orange. And I got to work picking out my tesserae, which included scraps of glass and larger pieces. So I got to work measuring the glass and then cutting them down. I used my Thomas Grip glass cutter and running pliers along with this handy waffle cutting grid which collects all of the little shards of glass as I'm scoring and snapping. And I like that there's no piece that's too small that I can't put on there and score. It does a lovely job of keeping the shards off of my work table surface. As I cut pieces of glass, I put them on top of the letter opener handle to see if the piece needed to be cut down more or just sanded. As I started to gather cut down pieces of stained glass, I placed them on top of the handle and marked them with a permanent marker as to where I needed to nip them with my wheeled glass nippers or just grind down the edge a bit. I'm going with a variety of links with the stained glass tesserae. There's no rhyme or reason to the links. I'm just making sure there's enough variety amongst the three colors in the mosaic. And I continued this process as I filled up one side of the letter opener handle. And then I got to work doing this exact same process for the other side of the handle. I continue to build the tile work one piece at a time.
And then once I was done cutting out the basic shapes, I needed to fine tune even more by nipping with my wheeled glass nippers and or sanding down the pieces with a sanding stone or an electric grinder. I recently did a video here on the channel all about how to use a grinding stone in your mosaic work and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. Once all of that was done, I mixed up a batch of epoxy sculpt and got to work smoothing it on one side of the letter opener handle. Then I adhered the pieces of stained glass. I continued this process on the other side of the handle as well. Now, doing both sides in the same session does mean you need to be careful with where you're putting your fingers so you don't bump any pieces. You could always adhere one side and let it dry fully and then do the other side the next day or whenever you can get back to it. And then you wouldn't have to worry about bumping any pieces. So I adhered the pieces of stained glass to the substrate and made sure that they were exactly where I wanted them to be. And then I cleaned off any excess epoxy sculpt from the handle. Then to smooth out any epoxy sculpt that's showing, I put a little water on my fingertip and went over it. This smooths out any ridges or rough spots in the epoxy sculpt and then I let it dry for 24 hours before I grout it. For the second letter opener, I'm using a variety of shades of pink vitreous glass. Because the pieces are so little, I was able to use some of my cutoffs I had saved from previous mosaic projects. I cut the tesserae into squares and rectangles and got started laying out the color block design. Once I was happy with it, I mixed up a fresh batch of epoxy sculpt and got started smoothing it onto the substrate. Next, I adhered or transferred the tesserae onto the epoxy sculpt. This process went really quickly because I had already done all of the cutting for the mosaic. I made sure to clean off any excess epoxy sculpt from the sides of the letter opener handle. Next, I got to work with designing the other side of the handle. And just like on the first side, once I was happy with the design, I got to work with mixing up a fresh batch of epoxy sculpt and smoothed it on the substrate. The tiling process went very quickly here as well. And again, I made sure to clean off any excess epoxy sculpt from the sides of the handle and smoothed over everything with a wet fingertip. And now both letter openers will sit and fully cure for at least 24 hours before I proceed to grouting. I'll include a list down below in the description for all the substrates, tools, materials, adhesives, and grout that I'm using in today's video in case you'd like to make some mosaic letter openers of your own. 
Now, because these mosaic items are functional art, I've decided to grout them. Grout has a way of not only keeping dirt out from between the tesserae, but it also secures the tesserae and helps it stay in place better. Not that the epoxy sculpt would give way. That stuff is super strong once dry. Plus, the grout will enhance the user experience, if you will. Before you get started with grouting, I would encourage you to tape up any areas that won't be grouted using painter's tape. You don't want to scratch up the metal of the blade of your letter opener. So I'll mix up a very small batch of grout since these aren't very big. If you're not familiar with grout or even mixing up thin set mortar, I've done a series of videos here on the channel all about the subject, including how to tint and color your grout and thin set. And I'll include a link to the playlist down below in the description so you can check them out. So I'll carefully grout the letter openers going back and forth, as well as going in a clockwise counterclockwise motion, pushing the grout into the grout line. I decided on using a dark grout, this one is charcoal gray, since the letter opener will be handled a lot. The dark color will hide any possible dirt or oils that may come off of your hands. I'll go over all of the areas of the handles. Well, that didn't take very long since they're so little. Now that the letter openers are grouted, I'll let them sit and dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I'll come back and clean them off. Okay, the letter openers have been sitting here drying and are ready to be cleaned off. I'll remove the grout in the same way I put it on by going back and forth and in a clockwise counterclockwise motion. As I'm cleaning off the grout, I'll make sure that I reveal all of the sides of each piece of tessera. And to finish off the grouting before I remove the painter's tape, I'll go over the handles with an old paintbrush to remove any grout dust. I think these letter openers make a gorgeous, thoughtful gift. Whether they're in use, sitting on your desk or table, or nestled amongst your pens and pencils. I'll include a list down below in the description for all the substrates, materials, tools, adhesive, and grout that I used in today's video in case you'd like to make some mosaic letter openers of your own. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments what is your favorite small mosaic gift item to make? Please share all the details I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, let's try that again. Less echo. Consistently, no. I'm leaving now, thundering up here. Okay. All right, Mom. Uh, okay. I'll include a list down below in, no. Where were we? Ooh, we are whizzing on by, whizzing on by. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya.